So probably the first thing you saw when you open up Zebra says, what are these things on top of my subtools? So these are subtool visibility sets. And by default, you know, there's no difference between them. They all show the exact same thing over here. Uh, but you can use these to dictate what's shown on your screen over here. So if I'm going to do a demo, I can say, okay, version one, I want to see everything. And then I'm like, okay, next guys, we're going to talk about uh, these samples over here. So I can, uh, instead of, you know, going in here and holding down shift and turning this eyeball off and then going in here and opening this up and turning all these back on and then going down here and turning this one off. I mean, I do still have to do all that, but what I could do now is go to hold down shift, turn on all the eyeballs. So V1 again is, you know, we'll say this is everything turned on. V2 or version two, oops, everything turned on. Version two, what I want again is just sample. So hold down, um, or we can just manually go through here. We can just turn off these eyeballs if that's easier. And now just my samples is shown. So now I'm like, okay, let's talk about the samples. So first, here's everything, everybody, check it out. Now I'm gonna go to V2. Here's just the samples. Let's talk about the samples. Now for V3, I go back here, everything's turned back on. For V3, I just wanna go over this demo. So I'm gonna turn off the samples. I'm gonna turn off all these other uh, folders right here. And now this, oops, let's go ahead and select it. And then now V3 is literally just going over this. So I can go through and do my knife, knife demo. So one more time, here's everything. Here's just the samples. And of course, I still have this one selected, even though the visibility is technically turned off. If any object in that uh, visibility is selected, then it will show obviously, but here's just the samples here. And then for uh, V3, we just have the demo. And let's say for V4, I don't want any demo or samples or hood or armor. I just want to be eyeballing this chassis. So here, uh, we just have chassis components and you know what no claw there we go so v4 is just and you know what no wires just the uh <laughs> just the chassis structural components i guess i should say structure and accessories there so that should be pretty straightforward you know v1 visibility visibility set visibility set visibility set and of course the only caveat would be any sub tool you have selected and in fact what i usually do in this situation is i'll say append a poly mesh 3d hold down shift shoot it to the top this will be my name catcher and i can scale this down just stick it in the middle of my scene here so when i go to save this this will be the name catcher so while i'm previewing my visibility sets i can just have my name catcher selected and then v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and if you're interested if we go into solo mode here <laughs> why it shrank down like this um it's a new feature You'll see other videos on this, but basically my full sh vocal shift is set at negative 100 by default for uh, transpose. However, if I set it to higher than that, it will start doing a fall off. So you can actually go through and shrink that down and give you kind of a, a Gumby fall off. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is subtool visibility sets. And you don't have to use it with folders. In fact, if we go through here really quickly, I'm going to say, so if you delete folder, it'll delete the folder and leave your subtools behind. If you select the folder and say delete all, it's going to delete the folder and the, and the subtools. So now I just have a file with my samples in it. So now, oops, samples and this cube down here. So just the samples in my uh, file, V1, V2, V3, and V4 are all visible. So I can go up here, I can say, okay, you, I want to be visible. If I want to know where these guys are, I can hold down shift. Um, bent up arrow shoot it to the top alt tap this one same deal alt tap this one so these are all at the top i'm going to go ahead and say i can hold down shift turn off the eyeballs for everything and then touch these top three eyeballs and now visibility for v1 is just these three v2 is everything back so feel free to go through and you know for v3 we can say you know what i don't want to see this one so you can just tap the eyeball you can alt tap something you don't want to see and then just tap the nameplate or the eyeball and then i'll go ahead and toggle it off so now V3 is just these ones showing, V2 is everything, V1 is just the top three there.